Today I will be showing you how to implement a simple counters that are using buttons. For example, in my coffee and habit tracker that will be going live soon, you can actually press a coffee and today's date it will be recording that you have had one, two, three or how many you pressed. And this also applies to adding different properties like coffee, walk and is really happy for, for the actual habit trackers because once you press the button it will be increasing the value in the database. Yeah, it requires a little bit of special handling but today I'm gonna be diving deep into how to implement it for your own templates. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. So first we're gonna go into our training dojo. This is where I always take a piece of uh, kit and I go and we're gonna be calling this one incrementer showcase because it's incrementing the values obviously. So we're gonna make it a full page and then we're gonna be going into the header one because I always like to label my templates. So this is just for a demo obviously but it doesn't mean it doesn't have to look nice. So. We're gonna be putting a table, which would be an inline table. We're gonna be calling it main DB. I mean, the, the title is beyond the point. However, I'm gonna be putting a value to increase one, and I'm gonna show you how to use the same counter to increase like two or multiple values, which I thought would be kind of handy. Now, value to increment two. So we're gonna be filling this with a little bit of bogus data. And here I'm gonna be just putting some values so that we know roughly what are we expecting and how it's supposed to be growing. So test page one, test page two. Let's pretend that those are our days from our habit tracker that I have just shown you before. So we're gonna be putting one, two, three, four, and those would be the values to be incremented. Now, Notion technically doesn't support the incrementer so we're gonna have a little our way around it so we're gonna be creating a button to increment value one we're not gonna say exactly where that's something that we're gonna be fixing later on but not right now this relation clicking a button to increment the value it doesn't work there is no such function at this point as the time of this recording so we have to go via a separate database which we're gonna be calling additions db yeah, I know, it's clunky and it's not the best, but if you want to implement a counter, this is how you do it. So, we're gonna be putting additional title, additions, and then we're gonna be putting another, let's say, callout, and we're gonna be dumping everything in this database. So there we go, and this is the table. Yeah, so, now, what we wanna do, we want to be putting basically a value type, so an addition type, and that one is gonna be the select type. So let's just change it to the select property. And we're gonna be immediately putting the value one and value two. So this is the way how you can easily differentiate between the two values that are trying to put. And you can have any number of add additions to have. So we're saying add one, we're gonna be putting value one. Add two, we're gonna be putting value two. I know it's a counter, it's a rudimentary, but I think it's still, if you need it, this is the way how to approach it. So <clears throat> there can be a lot more selective nuances that can be added here, but in essence, this is it. So now you want to have a relation from that one to the main table. And that's why we're gonna say, okay, main database, and we're gonna call it main page. It really doesn't matter, but with this one, we're gonna be calling additions. So uh, in my habit tracker, it's actually days uh, for the main page. But, so let's just add some and re relate some data right now. And now this looks like the test page one has two additions and test page <coughs> two has one addition. Each of them being value one, value two. So you have to be really careful. So. Uh, let's say add four value one again, and that one is gonna be tell related to test page, let's say three, whatever. Right. So, what we wanna do now is we're gonna be counting these additions. It's really that simple. So, we're not gonna be manipulating value to increment one, but we're gonna implement a formula that will be calculating these additions, and that will be coming our new actual value one. So these value to increment one and two, you can just delete them from the table. They're really not there. They were just here to prove my point. 
And now we're gonna be doing, uh, formula is gonna be additions, filter, current, addition, type, equals to, and now we're for calculating actual value one, so format it has to be. You have to have addition type and format, so it translates to the text's value or a string, and then compare it to value one. So if you now look actual value one, now this gives you the actual addition pages, but we want the actual value. How many are there? So we're gonna be doing that dot length. Yeah, it's that simple. So I understand it's not what people would be sign upping for, and I'm really hoping that Notion will in the future be adding a simple, you know, incrementer, like increment those fields, but at the moment it is what it is. So you duplicate it and just change the type to value two, and you have a counter for the actual value two. It's really that simple. So right now we have to delete value to increment one and two, just not to be misleading. And now increment value. So now the thing is that we're gonna be adding additions, but we need to understand is it value one and value two, and which page are we gonna be relating it to? So we're gonna be saying increment value one, where we're putting value one and the main page that we want to reach relate. I'm thinking let's just, for the purpose of discussion, let's put it to the test page one. If in the future you're gonna be adding those pages, adding a new page, then it could be like page added as a variable. But at this point, we're just gonna be adding through the button to the page one. Uh, there is a solution how you can actually build this so it relates for every new day. And if you will want to check that out, I suggest that you check a tutorial where I'm showing exactly how I've built my ultimate coffee and habit tracker video. If that's available, link will be provided in the description below. We're gonna be putting increment value two as inker one, but we're gonna be putting value two. It's that simple. So if we're incrementing value two, so we are still on test page one bit, but we're incrementing the value two. And since typically we are normally adding for the value trackers the day that is always, for the habit tracker that's always today, that actually works pretty well. But if you want to add it to the back pages, for example, test page and two, then you add the button property to the table. And it works in a similar way. So we're gonna say add page to the additions database, and we're gonna be putting test, whatever, it doesn't really matter. However, addition type, it's important that you select, for example, if you're incrementing value one, you're putting value one. And you want to be putting editing the property, main page, and this time you actually select this page, which relates to the page where you've actually triggered the automation. Oh, you, we want to add this as increment v1, sorry. Now, so you see if you press add v1, actual value is one, actual value is two. So we can actually now be adding a lot of v1s there. And the same way works for any field. Now, if you want to be adding v2, you simply flip the value of the property addition type, and that's it. It's really that simple. And once you're clicking it, you're just gonna be incrementing the value too. See, it's pretty easy. This doesn't look really nice because we have a lots of additions and this additions table is a little bit cumbersome, but that is why we have hiding. So if we just go additions, hide in the view, this looks much cleaner, doesn't it? And the additions, there is a way how to hide the table. Oh, and I forgot to put this main table in the callout because it will be easier for me to manipulate it. Let me just beautify it and put it into the callout. Then I can actually take this empty field, put it in the between. And now you just create the toggle. The toggle is actually a nice way to hide stuff. So you can just drag this entire table here and presto, look at it. It looks pretty nice. It works out of the box. Yes, it's a little bit cumbersome and it's a massive overkill, but still it works. The only thing that the increment buttons are actually, sometimes you need to do some black magic to actually fiddle with them to have them added. But as you can see in my coffee and habit tracker, if I'm pressing this button, walk, walks are increased. But if I go to the individual pages and I press an additional button, let's say add coffee, a coffee is being recorded in my daily progress, as you can tell, because here I'm not showing the actual values. But if I add another, let's say, exercise, it's going to be adding and checking it off. So this is the way how it works. Hope you liked today's video, and I will be seeing you in the next one.